What's up guys, Caleb here with another installment of Reality Check and today we've got an absolute beaut of a monitor to talk about today and it's not gaming related for once, okay? Not everything's about gaming, okay gamers? Take the back seat for today, alright? There are a couple of factors to consider when buying a monitor for professional usage, most importantly being color accuracy, resolution, and size. And the ViewSonic that we're about to talk about today ticks a lot of those boxes, so let's talk about it in a little bit more detail. To start off, it's a 32-inch IPS panel with a 60Hz refresh rate and a 1440p resolution, which is actually kind of the sweet spot, not just for professional usage, but also for gaming. Damn it, said I wasn't going to mention them. I still did. Whatever, it's just the truth. Deal with it, bruh. Having all of that extra real estate for gaming is honestly just phenomenal. Like, since I've been using this thing, every time I get home from work, I just feel sad and depressed because I'm stuck on my laptop 17 inch. Aside from that though, it's also good for professional tasks because you can have multiple windows open on your screen without it feeling too cramped. And honestly, bruv, if you haven't tried a 32 inch monitor yet, I highly suggest you do. Aesthetically, the screen also does it for me. It's damn sexy and the bezels are thick thin. It does have a slight chin on the bottom, but because it's so slim and so sexy, and also because of the size, you hardly even notice it. The stand is also pretty darn sexy, if I do say so myself, although there were some mixed feelings about it in the office. The only thing here is that whilst it doesn't necessarily seem poorly built, it pretty much wobbles at the slightest disturbance, like if you just touch your desk, it'll go but I think that has more to do with the way it's attached to the mount itself, and that setup can be a bit finicky, it requires you like clip it in and then screw it in, but that does add towards the security of it. The port selection is also fairly standard, nothing to brag about here, your display ports and your HDMI ports. And then also the controls are pretty crap, just trash garbage shit as is typical with most monitors, a bunch of vertically aligned buttons on the right. Navigating the menu is a bitch, and that's all I'll really say about it. It also has stereo speakers, but if I'm being perfectly honest, they are complete garbage trash, and you should not buy this monitor if you want monitors with dank ass speakers. To get slightly more specific about certain things regarding the panel itself, there are one or two doors backs. Now it is an IPS panel so in terms of color shift the viewing angles are great but there is quite a serious increase in contrast at serious angles. Also there is a bit of green bleed in the grayscale test as well as a bit of backlighting bleed in the bottom corners of the monitor. Also the monitor has been advertised as 10-bit when in actual fact it's 8-bit plus FRC which is a technology used to simulate colors when they aren't really there. Whilst hard to notice a serious improvement it is still better than 8-bit. And that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, it honestly does just look great. The colors are clear and vibrant thanks to its IPS panel. The viewing angles are great. It's just an awesome, large viewing experience. And at 5,000 Rand, I think you'd be hard pressed to find another panel with the same resolution and the same size and overall just looking that sexy for that cheap. Come at me in the comment section, bro. And that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of Reality Check. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this ViewSonic 32-inch 1440p screen. If you enjoy this kind of content or this video specifically, hit like. If you enjoy seeing this face when you're browsing YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check. Peace!